It's been a long week. Maybe that's why they call it the One Week Wonder. There's been many hands involved in this project. Everything from sheet metal, fiberglass, wiring, yes, even engine work. But even though it's been a lot of work, it's also been a lot of fun. Today is day seven, and you can tell the excitement is beginning to build as the last few items get finished on this Sonex. Let's get an update on where we're at right now. All right, so here at the One Week Wonder, day seven. This is uh, less than an hour to go. Mark, what do you feel about this whole situation, the whole long week? Has it been a long week? Oh, it's long, but uh, not long enough. Okay, uh, so, so what are we down to now? The, the engine's hung, the yeah. prop just got bolted on. Yep. What do we have left? Uh, we are just getting the, finishing the panel installation and uh, hooking up the flaps. I believe they're almost done with that. Uh, we're gonna rivet the belly on and we'll be good to go. Be good to go. We've already got fuel ready, I think. We got fluids yep. in it. Fuel's going in, there's some more fuel's going in. We did an engine run yesterday briefly for about 30 seconds on Rotax's diagnostic setup okay. uh, with no prop, so it sounded like a race car. Oh, nice. Pretty, pretty wild. Nice. <laughs> so what is the plan when this, uh, well, the tail is the only thing suspended in the air right now. It's all, all three point. Yep. We're gonna walk this out to the taxiway. Just walk us through what's the process of the, the taxi. Yeah, so from what I understand, having never done this before, right. uh, they make it kind of a ceremonious uh, pull of the aircraft from here down Celebration Way to the flight line. Uh, the aircraft and the team gets announced uh, during a break in the air show and the aircraft fires up in taxis yeah, for everyone to see. Nice. And then we go home and collapse. Yeah, for another seven days, for another one week wonder of just rest. Right, awesome. I wish. <laughs> well, we're looking forward to it and it's awesome this could be a part of the show. I've witnessed personally hundreds if not thousands of people coming up and bending over the the fence to try to get a closer look to see what's going on. It's a really exciting thing to see an aircraft under construction. Yeah, I tell you what, it, it's been so fun and so rewarding, even though all the hard work uh, that we had to go through. We were here very late last night, um, after air show, uh, night air show last night, and about, um, you know, up till about midnight, maybe one o'clock, people were still coming by. We had the, all the tent open to keep it cool in here. Right. And at one point, we had a giant crowd watching us and uh, you know we're all just kind of getting a little uh, kind of losing it a little and just kind of laughing and having fun and cracking jokes and uh, you know trying to talk to the people and work at the same time and it was uh, it was one of those things that you remember about a project like this among so many other things. Would you do it again? I need a few years. <laughs> not, not next year or the year after, but at some point in time, another model maybe. I'd have to think about it. Okay. okay. So, uh, you know, less, we learned a lot of lessons, and uh, and and if we did it again, we'd we'd, we'd change some things certainly, but sure. yeah, we'll see. So part of the one week wonder is uh, the crowd, the audience, is a chance to come out and uh, do a test rivet, pull on a rivet and then an actual rivet on the aircraft. Yeah. About how many people do you think actually had the opportunity to pull a rivet this year? Boy, I don't know. EAA has it tallied in their iPad database uh, from everybody. It, the, the sheer number of signatures, I mean, we have uh, quite a few, I, probably about 5,000, 6,000 rivets in the kit. Yeah. There's a lot of signed rivets. I'm thinking we're at least 1,000, if not 1,500 or something approaching that number. Well, it's odd because we're in this arena to, to think this by, by now that somebody doesn't know that this is possible, but no, we have brand new people that are just like, the blinders have been removed that, you know, this is available to you. You want to pull a rivet? I don't know if you got any holes left. I don't, I don't know how to do it. I don't know how to do it. How are you doing? Good, good. Hey, you mind if I include you on the update? Let's do it. Quick, uh, yeah. Okay. Yeah. 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 All right. 
right, so we got four minutes left on the clock up there, if you can see that or not. And last minute things getting done here. Basically, the instrument panel was the, uh, the delay. But I believe they've got that installed now. And what they're going to do is get this on basically furniture, moving pads, wheels. And then we're going to slide it out, kind of maneuver it out of the tent because of the posts that are in the way. Push it down the, uh, the uh, open walkway there out to the taxiway. And that's when we'll do the first start with the prop on it and then out to the taxiway to do the taxi test. And so we got three minutes <laughs> and 20 seconds left. Let's see if we can make it out the door on time. So I think the last grip lock tie, notice I said grip lock tie, was uh, just mounted uh, holding the wires in place. So I think this is almost ready to roll out of the tent towards the taxiway. We are partnering with great companies like Dynon Avionics at Dynon.com, AirTech Coatings at AirTechCoatings.com, Aviation Youth Magazine at AviationUSA.com. The Aviators Clinic at aviatorsclinic.com. Take a moment to go visit their websites at the links found below in the description of this video. And visit our website at experimentalaircraftchannel.com for events, our video library arranged in easy to find playlists on specific topics, affiliate products, aviation merchandise, and so much more. So I guess it's official. The time has expired, um, I don't know, half hour ago now. The wiring is done. So they're getting ready to push this out of the tent. You have to put it up on some furniture movers, furniture dollies, and I'm doing a, a long walk out to the taxiway.
That was a long walk. Thank you for many, many years. They made it all the way out here, right to the edge of the uh, taxiway. Be ready for a first start here in just a second. Probably pulled a ribbon on it, so you become one of the official motors of this chronic aircraft. This is a, a wide tail, you know, that's how you go. So obviously it's not a first flight, but the taxi has commenced. So <laughs> I know everybody is sweating bullets on that. He was sitting there a few minutes checking control services and so forth. It's like, wait a minute, this thing isn't going flying. Is there an issue with it? But uh, he hit the switch and as you can see, it started right up. So big win for Sonics and EAA and everybody involved, Rotax uh, especially, on getting this thing running. And you can see so many people out here today to uh, witness this. So another airplane built by EAA in one week. Yeah. All right, Mark, so you able to sleep tonight now? You get a few Z's in? I'm gonna sleep, not tonight, but in like an hour and a half. <laughs> okay. I'm going home, I'm feeding the dog, and I'm hitting the hay. Congratulations. Thank you. Success. Thanks for the, all the great coverage. No problems, a lot of fun. All right.